Hello, I want to share with you on some really amazing discoveries that can significantly improve your mental capacity and as you age, keep you from the danger of getting dementia or Alzheimer's. The most amazing discovery that is very recent is the discovery that was done by Dr. Green and his team in California at a university, I forget the name right now. I am just conveying this to you from different literature I've read from Dr. David Williams and other doctors on this. They um, breeded mice to acquire acute Alzheimer's. Of course, the mice couldn't do anything that the normal mice did when they were put through the various tests. And they gave these mice over a four month period that had acute Alzheimer's niacinamide. Not niacin, but niacinamide. Niacin and niacinamide are a type of B3 vitamin. But there is a difference, significant difference between these two products, which I will explain later. Right now I want to concentrate on this clinical trial that was done in these mice. These mice were given niacinamide over a period of four months, and at the end of four months, they discovered to their surprise that the mice could do everything just as well as the normal mice, mice that had good mental capacity. They were very careful not to use the word cure as doctors and scientists, but in this case, what actually happened was a cure, because these mice became as if they never had Alzheimer's in the first place. And when you consider the fact that mice have a very similar pathology in their brain to humans, this is very good news. Now they are actually doing clinical trials with people that have acute Alzheimer's over a six month period, looking forward to seeing the results. And the chances are very likely that they will get very good results, probably just the same as the same as the mice. So this is a very significant discovery that should be on the news, it should be making the headlines, a discovery like this. And we will soon know, and we, I wonder what will happen when all the companies that are making, drug companies and others that are making billions of dollars from giving products to help people with dementia and Alzheimer's, including the organizations, that support people with Alzheimer's, I don't know. It's a major threat to their existence, isn't it? Well, they found that the um, product also is very effective against arthritis, and I can't go into all the details, but there was very thorough tests done on a whole large group of people back in the 1940s using niacinamide, which you can find on the internet and discover in the article I've written on this, um, these people could, were a prisoner in their own home. They couldn't walk, they couldn't go up the stairs, they couldn't even comb their hair. By the four months they could comb their hair, by six months they could run up, they could go up the stairs, they were totally free, totally free of this Alzheimer's that had literally frozen their bodies up. Simply by taking niacinamide every hour, ten times a day, and 250 milligram doses. So. Now, I want to explain to you the difference between niacin and niacinamide. Niacin is that product that you can get from the health food store that when you take it gives you a real hot flush and can really turn your skin red. It does mine. It is known to be good to clear out the arteries of all the junk that can plug them. It may be that niacinamide does the same thing. I haven't checked out about that. The problem with niacin is that it can irritate the liver. You can overdose with it. With niacinamide, that is not the case. They have discovered this because certain doctors, like Dr. David Williams, have already been using niacinamide quite a bit on his patients for quite a few years to cure them or to greatly, significantly reverse their conditions with arthritis. Also, they know this because they have tried to overdose animals mice, for example, with niacinamide, and they found that it would take the equivalent of us as humans taking a pound of niacinamide a day 
which would be about 750 tablets of 500 milligram ta per tablet a day, which of course no one's going to do. So there's a lot of doctors and other people out there that are saying, oh, niacinamide can cause liver damage. But according to Dr. David Williams and others that have used it, and according to the tests on animals, all the indications are that niacinamide is very safe as far as the possibilities of any damage to the liver. So this is good news, and I pray that you people that have problems with your grandfathers or grandmothers or whatever would give them what the people are being given right now in the clinical trials, which is 1,500 milligrams twice a day, probably in the morning, probably in the evening. And uh, there are many other things that are beneficial to the brain, as well as niacinamide, which I'll briefly mention. Fish oil with high levels of EPA has tremendous benefit to your brain, as well as your circulatory system, and to reducing blood pressure and improving heart function and so on. So that's a great product to take as well. Another product that is very good and has multifaceted benefits for the brain is human growth hormone therapy. You can get over-the-counter human growth hormones such as homeopathic HGH. I have a website called hghblend.com where you can order really good quality homeopathic HGH. And there's a section on there, a whole section on detail, the tremendous multifaceted benefits that they have found through testing on the brain. Another thing they've found very effective is there's been two doctors that have done testing with sound on the brain to see how it affects it and have been amazed at what they've discovered and this has been going on for years. And they have found that when you have certain types of sounds put through the brain that it significantly increases all your hormone levels up to way higher levels so that it was as if you were taking products to increase your hormones as you got older but didn't need to. They also found it significantly increased intelligence and ability to sleep. And I forget the name of this product, but there is a product you can buy on the internet that they sell that has these special sounds that are very beautiful sounding that you can listen to and improve your intelligence as well as other um, abilities to sleep and so on. So, and then one other thing that they found can really improve your mental capacity, and they, this was doctors working with mental handicap patients. They found that when you would make someone hold their breath until they could hardly take it, and like going underwater and then you have to come up, that it sent, sends an alarm signal in the body that causes certain things, elements to rush to the brain, I don't know which hormones they are and so on, but as a result, your intelligence is significantly increased. If you just do that twice a day, hold your breath for you know a minute or a minute and a half, when it starts to really become uncomfortable. And uh, that really does, these, these handicapped children that were doing this, they, they started to become geniuses in areas that normal people could never be, such as playing the piano and so on. So these are all wonderful tips so that you will have a better quality of life as you age, and even now, so if you're a student at school, you'll be far more effective at your studies. I hope this has all been of service to you, and I do all of this to the glory of Jesus Christ.